Hey, everybody. Welcome to Kara's Cucina, YouTube's only Emmy-nominated cooking show. I'm Kara DeFalco, and today I'm going to show you a great recipe. We are making some sea scallops. We want to thank the folks over at Sonora Far Hills Seafood for sponsoring this video in part today. They gave us these beautiful uh, Maine diver scallops and Hunter, uh, who hooked us up with these, gave me a little bit of an explanation on them as well. Uh, if you kind of see some of the differentiation in, in color of them, the uh, peachier color ones or the more orange colored ones are generally female scallops and they're known to be a little sweeter uh, in their flavor. And then also, uh, these are diver scallops and the way he explained it to me is that uh, when somebody goes down and actually collects the scallop. It's a little bit easier on the animals, so they stay nice and plump and juicy, and that is how you get these big, beautiful scallops. Uh, Sonora Far Hills is a wholesale uh, seller of seafood, but certainly anybody can uh, shout them out. We'll hook you up in the link below and uh, check them out, see if, you, if they have uh, something that you're looking for. But we're going to show you how to make these uh, sea scallops the way the hunter recommended. So we're actually going to start by just finishing up prepping some of our Brussels sprouts. So. I'm gonna head over here. So we're kind of just pulling the leaves off and making them uh, almost like a salad. So we're gonna cut the end a little bit higher up than we normally would. We're just gonna get kind of some of these uh, sadder leaves off of the very outside. And we'll leave those out. But the rest of these, we're gonna put into our bowl here. And then we're gonna sear these off a little later. And then, oh, throwing them everywhere. As you get towards the center, I'm gonna move this. So as we get towards the center, if you have to, just kind of cut them in half again. Get one more there. So we got our two halves, and then from here, it's pretty easy to just keep pulling back the leaves. If you wanna really shortcut it, I'm pretty sure they make Brussels sprout coleslaw, and you could probably grab that as well. We'll just get these down to their cores. And the whole thing's edible, so we're just gonna toss it all in our bowl. Our next step is, and I kind of got a little ahead of us here, I have about a pound of butternut squash that I've already roasted off along with one onion. I put it in the bowl of our food processor along with some salt and pepper. And we're gonna start to puree this. And as it gets going, I'm gonna add in a little bit of coconut milk, milk, full fat coconut milk from the can until this gets to be a really nice silky puree. We're just gonna take a piece of paper towel and pat our scallops dry. They're pretty dry already here. So you just wanna do that and then season them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And I have a cast iron pan that I am preheating over high heat. We're actually gonna use a little bit of grapeseed oil to sear our scallops. It's a higher heat oil, it's less likely to burn uh, than olive oil, so that's what we're gonna to use to coat our pan. Okay, our pan's nice and hot. I have uh, our oil in there. So we're gonna add our scallops. And scallops are actually pretty easy because you'll really see them change color as they start to cook. So we're gonna sear them on this side. And what we'll do is you'll see they're, they're gonna be a little sticky in the pan. So once they release easily, that's pretty much when they're good to go. But it'll be about a minute, a minute and a half to sear them on this side. We're gonna flip them and then we're gonna add in some butter and use a spoon to baste them with that butter. So now that we have our sear, we put our butter in and as that starts to melt, we're gonna kind of tilt the pan towards us. So we get that melted butter and we're just gonna spoon it back on top of our scallops is probably something you want to wear an apron for. <laughs> I'm definitely going to lose this shirt after this. And you can lower your heat at this point as well because by the time they sear through or they sear on the, the one side, they're cooked about halfway through. So it doesn't take much longer from this point. 
To finish everything up, we're just gonna char off our Brussels sprout leaves. So again, I have a pan I'm gonna that I'm heating over high heat. We're gonna once again use that grapeseed oil so it doesn't have the burn factor that olive oil does. And everything's pretty hot already, so we'll get this in here. And we're just gonna get these in there and let them go till they begin to get a little bit of color on them. You can season them with a bit of salt and pepper. So we can see even as we just start to toss them around, they're already starting to brown just a little bit. And that's all we want. Now that our Brussels sprouts are a nice bright green, they've got some really good char on them, we're just gonna hit them with a little bit of balsamic vinegar. And these can go right back in the bowl that we had them in. To serve your dish, you wanna just heat up your uh, butternut squash puree. If any of the coconut fat had started to solidify, you would just see it. So just warm it up briefly. Put that in the base of your serving dish. And then we're gonna just put our scallops right down the center. And we're gonna put some of our Brussels down the side. And you can actually top this off with a couple of pomegranate kernels. Guys, that is it for this week in the Cucino. We wanna, again, especially thank the uh, guys over at Sonora Far Hills Seafood, especially Hunter, not only for giving us these scallops, but for sharing this recipe with us. You can find the recipe at caradefalco.com. Uh, I'll also hook you up with uh, Far Hills Seafood in the link below, and as well, once again, on our website, you can find me at Cara DeFalco, Facebook and Instagram. Follow all my foodie adventures, and of course, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you never miss a delicious meal. I'll see you guys next week. Bon appetit. Gracias.